In an electrical distribution network, a feeder is a component that carries electrical power from a substation or a distribution point to the consumers. It is an essential part of the distribution system that helps deliver electricity to various residential, commercial, and industrial areas. Feeder lines are typically medium voltage or low voltage lines that distribute power to a specific area or group of consumers. They are responsible for transmitting electricity over relatively long distances, connecting the main power source, such as a substation, to distribution transformers or directly to end users. Feeder lines are designed to handle a certain amount of electrical load or demand. Depending on the size and capacity of the network, there can be multiple feeders within a distribution system, each serving a different geographic area or group of consumers. These feeders are usually interconnected through switches, breakers, or other protective devices, allowing for flexibility in the distribution network's configuration and maintenance. Feeder systems play a crucial role in the efficient distribution of electrical power within a network. Understanding the complexities of feeders is essential for maintaining a reliable and stable electricity supply to consumers. Understanding the role of feeders in power distribution. Feeders play a crucial role in power distribution systems by facilitating the efficient and reliable delivery of electrical power from the source to the consumers. Here's a comprehensive understanding of the role of feeders in power distribution. First, for power transmission. Feeders are responsible for transmitting electrical power from the main power source, such as a substation, to various distribution points or load centers. They carry power over relatively long distances, either overhead or underground, to reach the areas where it is needed. Second, for load distribution. Feeders help distribute the electrical load across the distribution network. They divide the total power demand into smaller portions and deliver electricity to different areas or groups of consumers. This ensures a balanced distribution of power and prevents overloading of specific feeders or circuits. Third, for voltage regulation. Maintaining stable voltage levels is crucial for reliable operation of electrical devices. Feeders employ voltage regulation techniques to compensate for voltage drop that occurs due to the resistance and impedance of the distribution lines. Voltage regulators and capacitors are often used along the feeder to regulate and stabilize the voltage within acceptable limits. Fourth, for fault detection and isolation. Feeders are equipped with protective devices, such as fuses, circuit breakers, and relays, to detect faults or abnormalities in the distribution network. These devices monitor the current, voltage, and other parameters to identify faults such as short circuits or overloads. When a fault is detected, the protective devices isolate the faulty section of the feeder, minimizing the impact on the rest of the system and allowing for prompt repairs. Fifth, for power loss minimization. Feeders are designed to minimize power losses during transmission. By selecting appropriate conductor sizes, optimizing routing paths, and employing efficient voltage regulation techniques, feeders reduce resistive losses and improve the overall efficiency of power distribution. This helps to conserve energy and reduce operational costs. Sixth, for flexibility and control. Feeders provide flexibility and control in power distribution systems. They are typically interconnected through switches, breakers, and sectionalizing devices, allowing for reconfiguration of the network as needed. This flexibility enables maintenance activities, load balancing, and the ability to isolate faulty sections while maintaining power supply to other areas. Last one, system reliability and resilience. Reliable power supply is essential for consumers. Feeders are designed with redundancy and backup provisions to ensure system reliability. By employing multiple feeders, alternative routes, and automatic switching mechanisms, feeders enhance the resilience of the distribution network, minimizing downtime and improving the quality of service. Types of feeders in electrical distribution networks. There are different types of feeders in the electrical distribution world, each with its own specific role. Some feeders are like the main highways, carrying a large volume of electricity to densely populated areas. Others are like the scenic routes, serving remote locations with lower power demands. Here are some common types of feeders. 1. Radial feeder. The radial feeder is the simplest and most common type of feeder. It operates in a radial configuration, where power flows from the source substation or transformer, to the load points in a single direction. It does not have any interconnections or loops, 
making it straightforward to design and operate. However, a fault or disruption in a radial feeder can cause an entire section to lose power. 2. Ring Main Feeder A ring main feeder forms a closed-loop configuration where power can flow in both directions. It provides redundancy and reliability in the distribution network. If a fault occurs in one section, the power can flow through the other direction, ensuring uninterrupted supply to the connected loads. Ring main feeders are commonly used in urban areas and critical infrastructure where continuous power supply is essential. 3. Parallel Feeder A parallel feeder consists of multiple feeders connected in parallel to supply power to a common set of loads. It helps distribute the electrical load across multiple paths, allowing for load sharing and redundancy. Parallel feeders are employed in situations where the power demand exceeds the capacity of a single feeder or for providing backup power options. 4. Loop Feeder A loop feeder is a configuration where multiple feeders are interconnected to form a looped network. Power can flow in multiple directions, providing flexibility, reliability, and fault tolerance. Loop feeders are commonly used in larger distribution networks to ensure alternate paths for power flow, thereby reducing the impact of faults and improving reliability. 5. Double-ended feeder A double-ended feeder involves connecting two or more sources to a common feeder. It provides redundancy and improves reliability by allowing power to be fed from multiple sources. If one source fails or requires maintenance, the load can be seamlessly transferred to the other source minimizing disruptions. 6. Radial Ring Feeder Radial ring feeder combines the characteristics of both radial and ring main feeders. It primarily operates in a radial configuration but incorporates a ring main at strategic points within the network. This hybrid configuration provides redundancy and alternate paths for power flow while maintaining the simplicity and ease of operation of a radial feeder. A feeder system in a power distribution network consists of several components that work together to transmit electrical power from the source to the consumers. Here are the key components of a feeder system. 1. Source slash substation. The source or substation is the starting point of the feeder system. It can be a power plant, a substation receiving power from a higher voltage transmission system, or a distribution transformer. The source supplies electrical power to the feeder system. Two. Feeder lines. Feeder lines are the conductors that carry electrical power from the source or substation to the load points. These lines can be overhead or underground, depending on the infrastructure and environmental factors. Feeder lines are typically made of copper or aluminum and are sized appropriately to handle the expected load. 3. Transformers. Transformers play a crucial role in the feeder system. At the substation or along the feeder, distribution transformers step down the voltage to a suitable level for distribution to consumers. They convert the higher voltage from the source to lower voltage levels required for residential, commercial, or industrial loads. 4. Protection Devices Protection devices are installed along the feeder system to detect and isolate faults or abnormal conditions. These devices include fuses, circuit breakers, relays, and protective relays. They monitor the electrical parameters such as current, voltage, and power factor to detect faults such as short circuits or overloads. When a fault is detected, these devices trip or open the circuit to isolate the faulty section and protect the equipment and the system. 5. Switching devices Switching devices, such as switches and disconnectors, are used in the feeder system to control the flow of electricity. They allow for manual or automated switching of circuits, enabling maintenance activities, load balancing, and rerouting of power during outages or system upgrades. 6. Voltage Regulation Devices Voltage regulation devices, such as voltage regulators and capacitor banks, are employed along the feeder system to maintain voltage levels within acceptable limits. They compensate for voltage drop that occurs due to the resistance and impedance of the feeder lines, ensuring that consumers receive the required voltage. 7. Measurement and Monitoring Equipment Various measurement and monitoring equipment are installed in the feeder system to monitor and control the electrical parameters. These include energy meters, power quality analyzers, and supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA, systems. They provide data on power consumption, voltage levels, and system performance, facilitating efficient operation and maintenance. 8. Communication and control systems. Communication and control systems are used to monitor, control, and coordinate the feeder system. 
These systems enable remote monitoring, fault detection, and control of the components in real time. They facilitate efficient operation, rapid fault identification, and timely response to maintain system reliability. These are the essential components of a feeder system in a power distribution network. Each component plays a specific role in transmitting electrical power, protecting the system, maintaining voltage levels, and enabling efficient operation and control of the distribution network.